Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from the video, and today I'll be showing you how to make custom name tags in Roblox. The first thing you're going to want to do is make the name tag. So I'm just going to right click this. I'm going to click insert object. And then I'm going to find the billboard GUI. You have to look around here. It should be in the GUI section. And then you just click it when you find it. And then we're going to add some things inside of it. So it looks like it's an actual name tag. So you're going to want to right click the billboard GUI. Insert object again. And then we want to insert a text label. And then you should see a white box with some text in it like that. I'm going to make it contain some text and make it look a bit better. So right now it looks a bit ugly. So let's go to the text label. It should be an explorer right there. And then we're going to click it. We're going to do this. We're going to go to the properties. And then we're going to scroll down until we find size. We're going to set this to 1, 0, comma, 0, comma, 1, comma, 0. So it should be fully scaled. Now you want to go to the billboard GUI and change the size of this. So if we scroll down, you'll see the size. We're going to change that to one, zero, one, zero. And it should be a certain size. I'm going to change that size a bit so it looks a bit bigger. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it this size. You know, like this size. You can make it any size you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to customize it. Make it look a bit better. I'm also going to tell you how to offset it so it isn't directly in the ground. You would just want to scroll down, go to studs offset, and then change the middle value right here. And that should elevate it a bit. Now the text is still moving a bit like that. So we're going to go to the text label. We're going to scroll down. And then we're going to go to text scaled. Then it should be scaled correctly to it. It may look a bit weird when you go up close to it like that, but it still works. So now we're going to go and insert the billboard GUI to start our character scripts. So we're going to grab it. We're going to drag it down here. Go to starter player and then start our character scripts. Then you can put it there. So it should be there now. So if you join the game, if you press play, it should have a name tag above your character. But it doesn't say anything in it yet. It just says label. You want it to say your actual name, your username, in the name tag. So we're going to click stop. And now we're going to start scripting it so it says the right name. So. We're going to open up the billboard GUI. Then we're going to right click the text label. We're going to insert object and then insert a script. And then this should pop up and now we're going to start scripting. So we're going to get rid of this because this isn't needed. Now we're going to put local, you know, not in capitals, but we're going to put local text label equals script up parent. So we're setting a variable. So it should go from a script to the parent, which is the text label. And then we're gonna get the character. So we're gonna go local character equals text label dot parent dot parent. And then it should go from here, from here, and this is where the character would be. Now we're gonna change the text to say the character's name. So, text label dot text equals character dot name. So it should look exactly like this. 
and it should be working. So we're gonna click play. And then it should say your name exactly right there. If it still looks a bit weird, you can customize it more. We can take, we can drag it out of here. We can put it into a random part. Then we can change it up a bit. So I'm gonna change the background like that. By clicking the background right here. And then it should show you this. Select whatever color you want. I'm also gonna change some more settings. Like the font. I'm gonna change it to arcade. And I'm also gonna change the text color like this. Also, if you don't want the name tag to be dark when it's in the dark, like that, you can go to the billboard GUI, go to light influence, and then change that to zero. And then it will always be bright enough to see. Now we're gonna go back to the text label and change it some more if you want to. And then, once you're done customizing it, you can drag it back down to starter character scripts. And then, it should still work, as long as you didn't change the script or anything. And bam, you have a custom name tag inside of your game. Slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.